<laughs> Hello. My name is Jennifer Moore, and I serve as um, the Director of Special Programs and Campus Life here at Lemoyne on College. Welcome to Talk About It Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we will have a conversation with our college counselor. We want to encourage you to not get stressed and know that we're here for you. Mm -hmm. Want me to go ahead? Just okay. So um, we do know that finals are coming up next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're coming up next week. So we do know that this is the time students would normally start to get a little stressed. So we do. I do want to just give you a couple of ways to de-stress as a college student, um, which is easier said than done. But still, you know, try as best you can to use these or implement these in your everyday life. So um, I know people say it and it's kind of cliche, but exercise is definitely a way to de-stress. Um, it doesn't have to be like hardcore weightlifting. You can do something as simple as walking, jogging, or like yoga, something, you know, that can get you centered and zen. Um, another thing would be to unplug. Sometimes we are way too focused on phones and screens. And so it would be a good idea to put down the phone, put down your screen and maybe just, you know, turn on some music or just enjoy nature. It is, the weather has been very nice lately. Um, so yeah, just unplug, find support. So of course, like Ms. Moore said, we are here. Um, the Counseling Center is here with whatever needs that you may have. If you need to speak, talk to someone, myself or Ms. Askew Elliott is available. Um, but of course, if you're not comfortable speaking with us, uh, we do. We can get you connected with Meta Therapy Telehealth. So that is um, virtual online counseling, and it would be by like a licensed counselor and you'll have a specific number of times that you're able to speak with them um, free of charge. So we definitely can get you connected to those people as well. Um, let's see, something else that you can do is to practice self-compassion. Um, don't be so hard on yourself and also um, procrastination. Try to limit that as best you can. So when you get get some sort of assignment that is due some big project or something, just try to get on it as fast as you can and don't hold it to the end. Because, you know, a lot of people do say um, when they wait until the end, uh, procrastination, they work better under like stress. Right. Yes, that's very <laughs> true. People do say that. And to a certain extent, it is true because there is a such thing as good stress and like negative stress. So to a certain extent, that is true. But um, procrastinate, procrastination um, should be something that you should not shoot for. <laughs> so, you know, let's just <laughs> let's better um, schedule ourselves. You know, sometimes it's, it could help to even get you like a planner and to write physically write down what you're going to do for the day. So let's try to you're clear of procrastination and uh, sometimes to get creative. So that's if that's just turn up blasting music and dancing or jumping up and down and screaming and releasing anything that you feel like you're holding. Those are ways, a few ways that you could de-stress as a college student and still be focused or try to focus on um, your assignments and your finals and everything else that you have to deal with. Okay, thank you so much for, for providing those um, key ways to de-stress. I know I'm going to, I'm not even taking finals, but I will stand in a room and scream. I like that one. Yeah. And stop yeah. procrastinating. I love it. Yeah. Um, so tell students how they can make an appointment with um, the Counseling Center. So uh, students can make an appointment by emailing myself or Ms. Askew Elliott, or you can email the Counseling Center. So my email address is Brene underscore more at loc.edu and Miss Askew's email is Shalonda underscore Askew at loc.edu or you can email counseling at loc.edu and um, just say you can email and say uh, you want to speak to someone or you can email email like what date and time best suits you. So that it would be like the quickest way or the easiest way to get in contact with us and you can also give call us. My office number is 
901-435-1738. And Ms. Askew's office number, 901-435-1733. So you can call us, leave messages, and send us emails as well. Hey, sounds great. So last, um, a couple of weeks ago, you guys have a, had a really amazing workshop. Um, can you kind of talk about what you expect or what students can expect to see in the fall? So we do plan to, of course, have more workshops. We're shooting for at least like one workshop a month. Um, everything this semester and the previous semester, of course, was virtual. But next semester, we have not made any like definite decisions if it's, everything's going to be virtual or if it's going to be in person. I, for one, am hoping that we have some in-person um, sessions, some in-person workshops so that, you know, everything virtually, it's just <laughs> bad. Yes, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. over it. Yes. So I do hope that, um, I hope that we're able to have some in-person um workshops but we do plan to have at least one a month next semester yeah in the fall um yeah and then also we are also here to pr provide any kind of support so if there are any students with any housing insecurities um anyone that's struggling with drug and alcohol abuse domestic violence we are all we, you can come to the counseling center for that as well Okay, sounds great. So I'm looking forward to um, the students being back in the fall. Uh, we're doing a hybrid learning environment. So you have the option of being on campus or virtual. And we're starting, still trying to work out whether our events will be virtual um, or in person. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Ms. Moore. We um, are going to wrap it up. But before we wrap it up, we want to highlight some of our new magicians that um, are enrolled at the college. They are newly enrolled magicians, and we just want to stop and give them a shout out and say hello to them. So I'm going to share my screen so that you can see some of our um, new magicians that we have. Let's see got a lot of screens going on here. Okay. All right. So hopefully you can see that. Our first new magician is uh, Ramia. Ramia is, um, she told me to tell y'all that she is a senior at the Central High School in Memphis, <laughs> Tennessee. She made sure I put the D on there. Um, <laughs> yes, she is a senior at Central High School. So let's welcome Ramia to the um, college. We are super excited to see her um, during orientation. Our next um, new magician spotlight is Diamond. Diamond is um, from Portage High School in Indiana, and we are super excited to welcome Diamond in the uh, fall. All right, and our last new magician spotlight is James. James is from Federal Government Boys College in Nigeria. So he's gonna travel over here um, from Nigeria to be a new magician and um, be with us in the fall. So we're excited to welcome James. So if you guys, um, you know, when you see these students in the fall, make sure you say hello to them because they are our new magician. Woo, new magicians, come new on. Magicians, <laughs> yes, we're excited about that. Yeah. Okay, so as we wrap up, students remember that election day is on April the 21st. Um, so feel free to check your LLC email to obtain your ballot that will be sent on the 21st and uh, vote for your next Mr. or Miss, uh, Mr. and Miss Lamont One College, along with your SGA president, vice president, and business manager. Also, um, we will have a review day study jam on the lawn on April the 23rd. So stop by, pick up your final survival kit from us. We want to give you some goodies to prepare for finals. I will also have a food truck so pick up some free food tutors will be available our counselors will be available um, and we'll have lots of staff here that are here to assist you um, if you have any questions or you need any help on review day um, you'll also be able to meet with your advisors as well so if you have not pre-registered that'll be a great opportunity to pre-register for the fall semester so we're super excited about our study jam review day on the lawn that will be April the 23rd. Um, so thank you so much. Do you have any closing remarks, Ms. Moore? 
Um, no, just remember to focus on those ways to de-stress. Oh, also, unhealth, steer clear of unhealthy stress mechanisms like self-soothing with alcohol and drugs. Try to stay away from those. But alcohol and drugs is normally like the thing that a lot of people turn to, and that can easily turn into an addiction. So just steer clear of negative coping mechanisms such as those. Gotcha. Okay. Well, you guys have a wonderful day and tune in next week as we have another edition of Talk About It Tuesday. Have a great day. Have a great day.